Hi, Lisa. My name is Pat, and I am very active in recovery in Fremont County. I have been uh, relieved of my addiction for going on nine years now. I think it was, um, I was just tired of, well, first of all, it didn't work anymore. Uh, you know, I was taking drugs and drinking all the time just to get through the day and it quit working. And, you know, the high was gone. It was either sick or not sick. And so, um, I was pretending to be one thing when I knew in my heart that I was something completely different. And that double life and living that hypocritical way just didn't set right anymore. And I knew I had to do something. So I checked myself into treatment for the first time. I think recovery has actually saved my life uh, and the lives of my family members. Um, I think that, you know, my dad celebrated 41 years last week and my daughter celebrated two on the same day. And I didn't have any idea that they shared that in common. So it's, it's kind of been a generational thing in my family. It's given me such a freedom from those chains of addiction that, you know, I always say that the chains of addiction are too light to feel until they're too heavy to break. And when I decided to quit, I discovered that I couldn't on my own. And so that's when I reached out for help and everything has changed. It's um, allowed me to be an example for my own children. Um, it's allowed me to develop a relationship with the God of my own, my understanding and um, allowed me to build and develop that relationship into something that's um, that allows me to be able to get through the day without having to drink or get high to do, you know, to do it. Come on in. I mean, really, the, the hardest part is walking through the door. You know, uh, what I appreciated about recovery is some of the crazy and wild things that I would think or say, they understood. You know, there was no judgment. Um, they understand the, the depths that we can sink to. And all they want to do is help. And, um, and I try to be the same way, you know. Um, there's no judgment, there's no, it's just freedom. That pain and misery is, out there waiting for me anytime I want to go back to it. And it's the same for anyone coming in. Give it a try. The worst thing that could happen is that you're clean and sober, you know? So um, there is there is no fear. You know, we're not training anyone for seminary or anything, you know? It's just come in and let us show you what we have found. Uh, a solution that works. Mm. I don't know that I have, that I'm aware of the stigma that I might have been a victim of. Uh, typically people don't say anything to my face that would indicate anything other than they don't understand addiction. You know, um, I've, I've, since coming into recovery, you know, 
I do it for employment. Like I'm a peer coach now um, for a, a health group here in town that um, it's, it's just become a way of life for me. And I, I, I know there's people out there that struggle with understanding and maybe they'd look down and think that people that suffer addiction are something less than but I think that's based on ignorance and misunderstanding of the disease of addiction. You know, there's uh, not the same type of stigma with cancer or diabetes or something like that. But when you say that you were addicted to narcotics or that you couldn't stop drinking alcohol, they just don't understand the disease side of it. They they look at it, I think, sometimes as a some kind of moral deficiency as opposed to an illness that there is help for. Well, I am a father, a husband of 32 years, I think, somewhere in that vicinity. Um, I'm a peer coach. I enjoy riding antique Harley Davidsons. I love riding horses. I'm all of those things. And I am no longer an addict looking for recovery. I'll always be an alcoholic, I'll always be an addict, but we do recover from the disease. We can fall sick again. I know I can. If I stop doing things I'm doing or start doing something I haven't been doing, I can fall sick again, absolutely. But today I am a husband, father, employee, uh, all those things I mentioned, free from addiction. And um, I wouldn't go back to it for anything. That it's available to them. I mean, anyone who is affected by addiction. I know I, I thought I was unique and different and worse than they are and it's not gonna work, And but it does work. But I have to take the action. You know, recovery is a, my recovery program is a, a, a spiritual program of action. And um, the, the good news is no one has to do it by themselves. You know, we go through this thing shoulder to shoulder, whether it's with a peer coach or a sponsor of some sort or whatever. Don't try to do it alone. Uh, I did for a long time and it was nothing but failure. Uh, but once I was willing to accept some help, it it changed everything. And that same help is available for anyone who wants it. No, I think it's um, a really great thing that, you know, we're doing here trying to get the word out because I believe there are a lot of people out there that want and need help that may be afraid to admit it. And um, like I alluded to earlier, this is no character defect or moral deficiency or any of those types of things. It's an illness that you can uh, recover from. <laughs>